Hello, Grumpy Old Fart here. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying doing these family game night stories, uh, especially about old uh, games that I played. And this is, a, this is a funny one from years ago. It's an advanced Dungeons & Dragons AD&D story uh, called, <laughs> I'm, I'm titling this, The Not-So-Great Escape. I was running a campaign years ago <clears throat> and had, uh, I want to say, six players, seven players, something like that. And uh, there was a guy who wanted to join, and he was a friend of a friend kind of thing. And uh, my, my friend said, oh, yeah, he's, he's okay. I said, okay, fine. And he claimed that he had a decade of Dungeons & Dragons under his belt. He said he knew how to play. Everything was good. I said, all right, great. No problem. We could use good, experienced players. No problem. So uh, he came over, and he created a third-level barbarian to get in the game, which was about what the other players were. And... Uh, We'll call this guy Sam. Now, Sam struck me as kind of odd, but not, you know, likable enough, you know. I figured, what the hell. <clears throat> so he got in and he was playing. The very first game session, they were in a town and they were, they, they, they were, they had just finished one particular job, for lack of a better word, and they'd gotten paid. So they were doing their, uh, 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 between missions, they generally they go and they they buy stuff, they get armor repaired, buy new weapons if they need them, you know that kind of thing. Haggle for new magic items. The wizards go to the library and study and maybe purchase new spells if they if they have the ability or the money or whatever, whatever they do, you know, buy buy new horses because I've I have a I have a, I have a pension for killing off critters, especially horses. Um, <clears throat> at any rate. The, the group's doing this. And I had already had a new a new scenario lined up for them. But I had to give them some information first. And the way this happened was two of the players were mistaken for thieves and got thumped by the guards and arrested and thrown in the, in the local jail. And, of course, it wasn't going to stick because the, they, they, the guy was going to come and, oh, no, that's not them. These aren't the guys who did it. Okay, great. You know, we'll let them go. Sorry about that. We'll let them go kind of thing. I wasn't going to railroad them or nothing. But they were still, at that point, they were sitting in the jail. Um, and the idea was there was a, a, an individual who was in the jail, in, already in the jail cell. And he was set to give them some information to start them on this next scenario. Okay, that was the gist. That was my, my plan. Well, Sam <laughs> insisted on visiting, visiting them at the guard shack, the guard post. <clears throat> so, the constabulary. So he goes in, and he goes up, and he's talking to him about just meaningless crap. And I, honestly, I had no idea why he visited. I really didn't. And uh, so that they're behind the bars. The bars are there, you know. And he's he's talking to him, and the guards are watching. There's like four of them sitting around, around a table. Two of them got you know drinks, and one of them's playing with some dice, and the other guy is actually watching them. And so he talks with them for a little bit, and he leaves, and he walks outside. And then his character walks outside and he's standing there. And Sam looked directly at me and he said, I have a 12% chance to bend bars. And I'm thinking, okay, what's that got to do with it? And I asked him, I said, are you going to go back in and try to break them out? And he goes, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. And he run, before I can, before I can say anything, he says, I'm going to run in there and grab the bars. You know. And his character is a big, strong barbarian, so he runs in there, and the guards are sitting there going, and they pick up their club and go out there, bap, 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 and they knock him down, and they open the jail cell, throw him in, and slam the door shut. And uh, the rest of the group shows up later, after he's woke up, and they're like, well, we, you know, he's not quite playing with a full deck, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you know, we'll keep him out of trouble if you let him go. And the, guy, the guards are like, okay, no problem. So they, they open the door, they let him out, and they, the group takes him out. Well, immediately he tries to go in and do it again. He runs in there, you know. And, of course, the guards over there thump him, and they throw him back in the jail cell. And the guys in there say, no, no, he's not he's not right up here. you gotta you got to give him some leeway. He's there, the guards are like, at this point, they're like, well, we tried, and he came back. What are we supposed to do? I said, if you, if you let him out, they'll take him out of town so he won't come back. Okay. So they let him out. And the group comes back and they get him and they take him out. 
Well, they're heading out of town, and this guy breaks away and runs back in there, and he's trying to bend bars again. At this point, the guards went over there with their real weapons, not just clubs, and they killed him. They hacked him to death and killed him right there. Um, the guards, as they're killing him, the guy came in to to tell them that, uh, oh, no, this, this isn't them. You can let them out. They're not the thieves. So while they're the guys were coming out of the jail cell, they actually carried his dead body out. <laughs> and he said, are you going to have them resurrect me? And the group's like, no, because we tried to help you three times and you, you, know, you, you just screwed up again. Some people you just can't, I mean, there are people in this game that are really good, solid players and they, they think about what they're going to do. And then there are people like Sam who, they just don't think. They don't, Either that or Sam just didn't want to play. Because he got mad that his character died, and he left, and we never had to deal with him again. So, either way, problem solved. <laughs> you folks have a good day. God bless one and all.